pack leaders, this is here, our friends around here, protecting the family, we're protecting the pack. I want to give us an update on the uh, latest trapper bot. We are now able to trap by entering with a limit order and then a uh, market order that's just right above it so that if it fills the limit, it will cancel the market and it will take limit orders by entering that way. So let me show you a demonstration of how it works. So let's go ahead and switch over. All right, so right now I have here that's already been created um, and I'll show you one that's that I'll demonstrate too, where it'll enter by limit, and the next one's about like, uh, I think I put 1.61% away. So depending if the price increases, it'll be further and further. So right now it's only about $8 away as far as uh, a distance goes. So let's go ahead and create one at, uh, I think I wanna create one at 7876. So let's go ahead and do that. 7876, and I'm gonna create it manually just so that you can I can demonstrate this for you guys. So it's gonna go ahead and clean out the um, the rums on top, which is what it's doing right now. And then after it cleans it up, it's gonna clean that out too. And then it'll place the um, the limit and the market order. And what it'll do, it'll constantly monitor the um, limit order and the market order to see which gets filled first. And sometimes you could get a double fill where it punches too fast and it'll fill that, and if it punches that and fills that, it'll cancel the limit. Uh, um, and then if it um, hits the limit first, then it'll cancel the market, okay? So there's a possibility for it to cancel both. Now another update is that for the, uh, when we do take profit, it'll uh, take profit, and if like, let's say we try to take profit here, but the price keeps going down, we'll, we'll kind of in a sense trail that by placing limit orders along the way. Now what we can also do is, uh, place that limit order, but also bracket it with a reversal trap so that if, if the limit can't catch it, we'll just go ahead and, and uh, close it with the conditional. Now currently, I don't have a thing to, or a threshold to know whether it's in, when we close the market to whether it be um, in profit or in loss. So even though we're here and let's say we, we didn't clear enough um, distance to be in profit, it'll still place it and we'll take that small little loss just in case, you know, it does this thing then you know we'll you know reverse our direction you know because it, we should <laughs> kind of thing all right uh so um so the, here is all the options on here this is the uh what we normally have the 10 minutes the accelerate stop stop even and loss and it would take profit and it would take profit on reversal and then we also want to do this to do reverse and it would reversal trap so that if the limit doesn't catch, at least the, the trap will, okay? Because there'll be a market order in the opposite direction. And the conditional limit order entry, when you check that, it'll um, it'll do this stuff right here. Instead of doing a market order, uh, it'll just do one of these guys to, to go there. Now, for this, if it was in the other direction, I haven't seen it yet, but it should ha create a stop just to get you out. And then it'll create a limit trigger right on top of each other in the other direction to, 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 once you close this out, to then take the new position with the limit uh, uh, order that way, okay? So that's the only thing there. So this is the only thing that that would probably take it on market because of this trailing stop order here. So that's, more, you know, it's it, it needs to be there in order to stop out, okay? All right, so uh, that's all I have for today. I think, um, Another, oh yeah, another one I think I need to talk about is uh, we had this one feature where enable stop loss at wait at entry. Well, um, I, I had this in there before, but we took it out. I kind of left, I put it back in so that we have the option to turn it back on if we need to. Pretty soon I'm gonna have another option where I'm able to then track these um, amplitudes, velocities, um, frequencies, angular velocity, ang whatever it is, the, the slope, the angle, whatever it is, in a better way and more up to date on a table format. And uh, when I'm able to do that, uh, then based on you know these humps and whatnot, and the direction of the slope, how high is bumping, if it's you know is, if it's going bumping against a different trend or whatever, then I can decide accordingly when to turn certain things off and on. 
such as you know if reversals if it's really pumping i don't want to reverse i want to take that off but if it's going sideways yeah i, I do want to do a reversal because so then i can kind of scalp up and down here as it's going sideways but if it starts pumping i don't i don't want to take profit too early or reverse too early because then that puts me in a bad situation so those are certain things where if, when, once i have better information on how to track the amplitudes the frequencies the wavelengths um and whatnot then i'll be able to um <clears throat> uh, adjust my settings accordingly and have another bot to um not bot but more like another function to kind of manipulate change this switch this out change this strategy uh change it to this change it to that kind of just like a whole myriad of things so that as the market changes we adapt and switch with it okay all right, thanks for watching. I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys are excited about these uh, updates. I'll be pushing this up soon. And uh, if you want to get access to this, it's uh, it's a dollar trial. It's in the description below. Thanks.